Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. We're in front of the pond today and we want to talk about algae in the pond and not having clear water. It's definitely a problem for anyone that has a pond. Maybe it's not a problem this year or next year, but eventually you end up having some sort of issue with the water not being clear. Now, of course, the water only needs to be clear for us. The frogs and the fish don't really care. I'm holding in my hand some blanket algae here. This is an algae which I end up getting in the pond. I've got a little bit of it, not so bad this year but it can be problematic. I'd like to just talk about some of the things that I use in my pond and I do have lots of fish and frogs and crayfish and I've even seen a mink in the pond which tends to eat the fish but nevertheless these products are safe for the fish. They're not all organic but they're not going to kill your fish. So the first one I want to talk about it's old school. This is a bag of barley and the barley basically inhibits some of the algae growth so this barley is basically baled up you throw it in the pond, you can see we've got one over there in the back of the pond. They get a little heavy, they can sink to the bottom of the pond. You take them out, you let them dry, you put them back in. I always have a few of these on hand. I think this works pretty well. I tend to keep the water fairly clear by keeping these fairly fresh throughout the season. A couple of other products I like to use. This is a product by Aquascape, it's beneficial bacteria. So this is bacteria that are in the water naturally and by adding the beneficial bacteria they're going to break down some of the sludge and some of the fish waste and other things that are in the pond so by keeping the pond healthy with beneficial bacteria that also helps keep it clear same thing with this clear pond this is a sludge remover and clarifier it says beneficial bacteria and enzymes again along the same lines the bacteria will tend to break down some of the bad stuff that's in the pond now I've never cleaned my pond out in terms of draining it, scrubbing the rocks, refilling it. A lot of pond care folks recommend that. It would cost a lot of money to do that. Frankly, I'm just not willing to spend that kind of money to clear the pond. So I use these products throughout the season. It keeps the pond relatively clear. And then I, of course, use something like this net. I'm not willing to have somebody do this for me. And frankly, I just don't have the time in the spring to drain the pond, scrub the rocks and clean it. But I do use one of these pool nets and I tend to take out a lot of the leaves as they're falling in the fall. And then in the spring, I'll get in there and use this again. And it does a relatively good job at keeping things clear. The final thing I use in the garden is this stuff called algae fix. It's a little bit expensive. You can get it online, of course. What can't you get online these days? And this has some active ingredients. They're definitely chemicals. It's safe for fish. It kills the algae. It kills the blanket weed. One thing you want to be sure if you're using this is that you have good aeration because as the algae and other things die, it's going to rob your pond of oxygen. So if you have a lot of fish in there and you're not aerating it while you're using something like this, you can cause the fish to have problems and even die. So we've got the waterfall going today because we just treated the pond with a little bit of this. So if you don't have a stream, you can use something like that bubbler we've got, and that will also keep the water stirred up a bit. So we've spoken about these four different products and different ways that you can control algae in your pond. It helps keep the pond healthy. I also never feed my fish, and you may find that interesting, but you know the fish basically eat the bugs and anything else that's in the pond, so I don't feed them, and I think that also helps keep the pond relatively clear. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.